stuff we've been usually doing in practice, but uh, I don't know what we have today exactly, but probably going a little bit more in depth about what they're going to do. Um, yesterday was a lot about us and working on ourselves and stuff like that, so. Were there any encouraging signs you guys took away from that scrimmage against uh, Detroit Mercy? Yeah, there was definitely a lot of pointers to uh, talk to us and practice about, um, like position by position, but as a team, just, it gave us a lot of positives and a lot of some negatives that we need to work on to get ready for tomorrow, but uh, I think we're all ready and we're excited to play uh, like in Chrysler Center in front of all the fans. So. Are there any certain areas you guys are looking to clean up, I guess, because it's obviously hard with this new system and this yeah. is um, I think just defense as a whole, uh, big thing rebounding also. Make sure we uh, clean up the glass because first Detroit, they got a uh, good amount of offensive rebounds, so we got to clean that area up. But, uh, what needs to happen for you to make it go? I think just um, I think just working on after everything I worked on, just uh, preparing to the future of the game and uh, just be confident in myself. To make a jump, you got to be able to just believe in everything you worked on. And uh, I know Chris Howard has confidence in me as well, so just being confident is the biggest thing. So what did you work on that? Um, uh, footwork, speed, ball handling, shooting was a big thing. You know, being able to shoot the three was going to be a big jump for me. Um, having confidence in myself to shoot the ball. Uh, and just defense, being able to guard multiple positions, the power forward position, center position, getting stronger. So. What, what was the big adjustment in playing four? I know you played most of the five last year. Yeah, uh, I guess just move, like I said, moving the team and being quicker. Uh, there's a lot of guys in the Big Ten and college basketball at the four who can you know, handle the ball very well. And, Oh, you know, pretty fast. So I think just staying with them and being able to guard them one on one is, is a big jump. So, so I've been like talking with some of old, like uh, Howard's kind of old um, players on the Heat, and they're they're kind of painting them as this like super high energy guy, and who like even was like rolling with the scout team, like you know, swat. He's like out there swatting blocks yeah, and yeah, like yeah. get that shit out of here. Like, and, and have you seen that happen here? Like, how, I wonder like what's he's kind of been like in practice, like how that yeah. how this is demeaning. I mean, he hasn't done that, but he kind of <laughs> just has been. You know, he works with us one on one, like we've all said, and um, he's 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 very hands on as a coach. You know, like he'll talk trash to you, but he'll also encourage you. So, you know, he'll give you a pointer after you do something wrong and tell you like what you need to work on. But then he'll also be positive, like, you know, like you should have done this, you can do this. Like, you know, I believe in you, like you got this in your game, you can do that. So, you know, don't be stagnant or don't not believe in yourself and you know, just make sure you're confident and stuff like that. So he's very hands-on. He talks to every one of the players after every like play we go through, stuff like that. So, you know, it, it's very encouraging as a player knowing that, um, you know, he has so, so much confidence in you. Yeah, and then, I, I mean, obviously, like, you know, when he comes out here at the open practice and he's dancing, I'm just wondering, like, what, you know, how you guys kind of do something like that. And, and, and like, you know, he said he likes to have fun in practice. And how does that really kind of manifest yeah. itself um, with you guys? All the players love it because, you know, we all, you know, outgoing guys who like, you know, dancing, talking crap, having fun, stuff like that. So, you know, we all love that he has such an outgoing character, stuff like that. Um, He's a very talkative guy, very humble, passionate, and just knowing that like your coach loves uh, coaching you that much makes you want to play just as hard for him. So it's awesome. What have you seen from Dave? Seems like he's having a nice preseason. Yeah. I guess what, what have you seen from him that's impressed you compared to and last season? Just confidence. Honestly, that's basically I've used that word a lot, but you know it's definitely a word that can make make somebody's game go from here to here. Um, and I've seen his game go like that. You know. Also, just his work ethic, you know, how hard he works in the gym. You know, every time I'm in the gym here, every time I work out, he's there already, or, you know, he's already there, we're going together, you know. So, just his work ethic and confidence and shooting the ball very well. Um, and just basically just having a green light, being able to just know he can shoot the ball. He was so, a big scorer in high school, but yeah. last year obviously it wasn't seen on the court. When did you start to see him shift to, okay, he's going to do that in college? Uh, I think too. just. Um, all right, this past summer when Coach Howard got the job, we kind of just had a mindset of, you know, all the sophomores got to just talk and we're like, you know, like, it's a clean slate for us. You know, we can't look back at what happened during our freshman year. Um, we all had ups and downs and stuff like that, but I think just, you know, recycling and thinking like, you know, I'm, uh, we can be confident going into our sophomore year and just changing our whole mindset about it. That's basically what we did, so.